Hey traders, welcome back. So today in this video, we're going to talk about how you can change the colors of the candles on the chart based on some conditions. For example, let's say if you have detected a pin bar or let's say if you have detected a bullish or bearish engulfing candle, then you might want to change the color of the candle. For example, if we just look here, we can see that this is a bearish engulfing candle. So if we detect a bearish engulfing candle, let's say we want to change the color of this candle and this candle as well to something like colored blue or golden or any color you want to. So if we want to do that, we can use the bar color function to achieve this. And let me just go ahead and show you how you can do this practically. So let me just go ahead and first of all, let me first define the conditions for detecting a valid engulfing candle and if i just go ahead and look here we can see in an engulfing candle the high of this next candle should be above the high of this previous candle and the low of this previous candle should be above the low of this next or latest count so this is going to be our condition that high of zero or high should be greater than high one and low should be lower than low one so let me just go ahead and define this condition and here I'm just going to name it condition and define our condition as high is greater than high one and low is less than low one. So let me just go ahead and do that. So this is our condition for uh, defining the bearish or bullish engulfing count. We're not going to differentiate between bullish or bearish engulfing yet. So first of all, let me just go ahead and change the colors of these candles based upon this condition. And if I just go ahead and type bar color function, we can see that this condition sets the color and offsets it by how many candles we want to. So if I just go ahead and put a conditional here that if this condition is true our variable condition is true that color is a uh, engulfing or the candle is an engulfing candle then we want to change this color to let's say color dot orange and if not then we want to keep this color so we'll define it as an a now with this line of code any candle that is a bearish or bullish engulfing candle will be changed to an orange count. So let me just go ahead and save it and see if this works out or not. So here, let me just wait for this to plot onto the chart. And here we can see that there is a plot function. Let me just remove this line. And here we want to change this overlay to be true so that we are plotting onto the chart instead of opening a new window. So let me just go ahead and do this to true and save it again and now if we add this to a chart you will see that the color of this engulfing candle has changed to orange now let's say if we want to change the color of this candle as well so what we would do is we would offset it by negative one so let me just go ahead and copy this line of code or i can hit shift alt and down arrow and here i'm going to change this offset to offset and just go ahead and give it offset of negative one so that it will offset to the previous bar on the chart. So let me just go ahead and save it. And now if we we'll go ahead and look, the color of this both channels has changed to yellow as you can see in this case here. So this is how you can use the bar color function to change the colors of the bars conditionally onto the chart. And if we look here, you might see that any bullish or bearish engulfing candle that is detected, its color changes to orange. So this is how you change the colors of the candles in Pine Script. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.